So let's go ahead and prepare for our installation. Let's just jump over to our demonstration box here. So here we are on our virtual server. This is Edge 1. This system is a Windows Server 2008 R2 system with uh, 4 gig of RAM, and it's running in a Hyper-V virtual environment. I'm actually logged into the console. Uh, it's always recommended that, where possible, that you install these updates and install the product from the console, whether that's physically or if you're uh, in a virtual environment, connect to the console versus an RDP session. It's just a better experience that way. Uh, installing Forefront UAG is fairly straightforward straightforward. Again, you want to make sure you have all of the requirements met. We've already joined our domain. Uh, you want to ensure things like all the networking is working correctly before you kick off an installation. A quick word of advice here, make sure that you have the IP addresses assigned correctly because sometimes when you change those later it can be problematic. Also, if you intend to join the domain, a good idea to go ahead and join the domain prior to installing Forefront UAG. And I've done that here, so we're going to go ahead and kick off the installation. So I'm actually going to navigate to the computer and just double click on my DVD drive here. And the, the installation of Forefront UAG is fairly simple and straightforward. Doesn't ask us for a lot of information, but it does take a fair amount of time. I'll give you that warning uh, up front. Can take uh, 30, 45 minutes, sometimes up to an hour, depending on your particular environment. So we'll actually just run the setup uh, uh, HTML application here and select the link to install Forefront UAG. So we'll go ahead and choose Next to kick off the UAG Getting Started wizard. We will accept the license terms, of course. We'll go ahead and, go ahead and accept the default installation location, which is fine for us in the Program Files folder. So we'll choose Next. And the installation is going to proceed. And from here, all you can do is wait and watch the, uh, watch the progress gar bars go by as it uh, installs Forefront TMG, Forefront UAG, as well as all of the supporting rules and features required for UAG to operate. So once the setup wizard completes and UAG is installed successfully, we need to restart the server. So we'll select the option to restart now, and then we'll click Finish and let the server restart. 